All right, class. This is Doctor Lily, and I'm just um need to go over with you how to prepare for the exam and what to expect. Um, sorry I couldn't be there in person, but you don't you don't want to get my cold and not have fun of your um fall break. So um okay, so let's talk with. Um, <clears throat> um, what to do um, on Thursday. So just everybody should know at this point that at class time this Thursday, the exam will open, and it's right here. So um, right now when I click on the link, it says um, quiz is not. So just the, the, the tool is just called Quiz and Moodle, but... Um, but it, it's really the midterm exam. So on uh, Thursday at 10.50 when class time starts, uh, if you click on the link instead of seeing this, all of a sudden you, you will get the first few questions. And then um, right at the end of the class period, um, it will end. So it'll just suddenly close out. All right, um, and again, this link is here under module two and right before module three. Um, so all you have to do is wait to that point. Now, if you if you click on this like just a couple minutes before <coughs> um, ten fifty, then it, it's not going to let you in. So um, you know, and also you know, it's possibility that your computer might not think it's the exact same time, might be off by a minute. So if you click on it right at 10.50, it doesn't let you in. Maybe wait 30 seconds or a minute and try it again. Um, so this um, exam has 30 multiple choice questions. Um, it has one, um, I think one matching, and three or four short answer slash mini essays. For the mini essays, it, it tells you, you know, how many um, sentences to try to answer in. Um, it's designed um, with multiple pages, okay? So each page to start out has about five or six questions and once you advance past those pages or past a page like click to go to the next page you can't then reverse and go back to the previous page so you should have high confidence um, that you answered those um, to your best of your ability but to be honest most of those are pretty much fact-based questions so if you didn't quite know the answer then then in my um, experience you're probably not likely to all of a sudden um, you know miraculously have the answer. Um, the exam is, is closed note. Um, you're not really going to have time to, to look at your notes anyway. Um, so do not use your notes that, um, or look at the, um, like try to look up the answer on the internet, on the web. That would be um, considered cheating. Um, and to be honest, you wouldn't really have too much time to be doing that anyway. Um, I haven't included too many um, questions um, that are um, like, for example, dates, you know, um, like what year did Google start and things like that, because I don't think, you know, teeny little facts like that are, are super important. You might have to know when certain errors were, um, what certain trends are, um, and things like that. Um, it, it's quite possible that there will be a lot of scores um, in the low 80s, 70s, or maybe even 60s. So um, if no um, one person um, or uh, scores a you know solid A, um, or if the majority of the scores are low, then there will be um, an a curve. Okay, so don't be upset if you um, if the quiz ends and you see that you didn't do too well in the multiple choice. Um, in general. I'm going to be grading a little bit more lenient on the essay portion, 
So wait and see what you get once I grade the essay portion um, graded. And um, and again, when the overall grades come in, then and um, then I will. There might be a curve. Um, similarly, if there's one question where pretty much no one, um, only a couple of people get the right answer, then I'll probably um, give you points back for that. Okay, so um, so just make sure. The thing is, make sure you're you're, you're ready. So don't oversleep. I mean, that's the reason why I have it during class time. I mean, I could arrange it for it to be a different time, but you know, you should be ready at that point. Um, be in a place free of distractions. Um, I don't, um, you know, you could be in a library or you could even come to the classroom. Um, but uh, again, if you're sitting there next to someone and, and sharing each other's answers, that would be considered um, cheating. Um, and if you study well, then I think you should be do fine um, or do fine relative to everyone else, uh, which is the main important thing. Um, so, okay, so what to uh, study? <coughs> Let me back up here. Um, okay. So from these first few readings, um, and the, 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 the two videos, so remember you're supposed to do History of the Internet 1 and 2 or watch that. Um, there are a fair number of questions um, from the History of the Web. Um, a fair number from memory um, and storage timeline. And then also from um, my computer's freezing up here. So it didn't fully load here. Um, I mean, you should know some of these these basics. I mean, I, I would I would study these um, in terms of, you know, you don't know have to know who who um, remember who Jay Forrester is, um, but some of the main kind of types of memory like magnetic core memory uh, memory, and um, you know what types of computers they en enabled um, to happen. Um, obviously, with memory. Um, up to today's um, computers like desktops like the one I'm using right now um, has the a hard disk memory um, you, you can also put scan disks in there um, obviously you can also plug in a, um, a hard disk type storage device external storage device and then you know obviously at the very end here we're looking at the different um, types of, of cloud storage um, memory um, so you should know, you know, the basics of those. Again, I'm not usually looking at um, for names um, for the most part. Um, you do want to be able to talk intelligently about, um, you know, what are the strengths of Dropbox versus Google versus OneDrive, and what some of the basic differences, but also the similarities, because obviously they have a lot of similarities um, as well. Um, So moving on to um, to so th like I said, there are a fair number of questions, um, partially just because it's it's somewhat easy. Like I said before, um, I'm not going to ask a lot of questions like which button to put in photo, push to photo in Photoshop or in Illustrator, because um, I think those are kind of a little nitpicky. Um, so there are a fair number of questions because it's kind of easy um, to make multiple choice from from these readings here. Um, as we come through to module two, um, let's see. Oh, I'm sorry, to module two. Um, you, th there are again a fair number of questions, multiple choice from these readings. Um, you should be looking at the topography reading. There are a couple questions from that, multiple choice. Um, you know, file formats have kind of <coughs> excuse me, um, have been discussed in readings uh, from me in class and lecture, um, and then also the tutorials. So there is a fair number also about the different file formats and what they're useful for. Um, so you should be familiar with those. Um, and also, obviously, the eight design principles. Um, are pretty important moving forward, um, so you should know what those are 
um, and what, what they mean, what the, the straight, uh, uh, how to apply them um, in design or talk about them. Um, both of these uh, file formats, this one here, and this one also talk about the video, kind of recap some of that. So that's kind of a different way of studying. Um, you know, I, I didn't, um, usually if there was something in a, um, some of the tutorials, I could, looked at them if I knew that I also kind of mentioned them in class. So there are a few things that if you want to go back and look at some of the tutorials, some of the concepts, they, the, the tutorials also talk about file formats, um, but certainly in terms of studying focus, um, in terms of studying for, <coughs> um, excuse me, um, in terms of studying for the midterm, focus on the readings um, and less on the tutorials. I mean, you already use the tutorials for the um, for the activities that you did, um, so um, I don't think you have to look at them too much and. Um, and I wouldn't have asked a question that only came, um, or, or something about a, a concept or a term that only came for tutorials. Usually it's something that I saw was in a tutorial, but I also mentioned in class, and maybe it was in a reading. So focus on the readings um, in terms of studying. Um, <coughs> uh, I talked with um, some of the, uh, there's two other instructors for this class, two other sections, and um, we talked about doing a live activity in the exam, and, and that might be part of the final exam, but we decided not to um, for this exam. So there'll be 30 multiple choice questions coming mostly from the readings, um, again here, and then in module one, um, and then a couple um, short essays. Uh, so you should know, um, you know, obviously in module two, <coughs> Excuse me. We uh, we had the three um, the three um, Adobe applications, so Photoshop, InDesign, and and Illustrator. So you should know um, what the main uses are for each one, um, and, and different main um, applications and strengths and weaknesses um, of what each one would be used for. Um, obviously, those come from the tutorials, but um, also the readings and um and uh, lectures in class. Um, let's see. Yeah, and so I, I think that, um, you know, if you make sure you go through the readings, I would take notes just because it helps you to remember. Um, uh, then, then you should do fine in terms of studying. Um, okay, so in terms of <coughs> strategies for success, um, time management. So you have um, 75 minutes. So I just would be um, mindful. Um, the uh, multiple choice questions are worth, um, there's 30 questions worth two points each. Um, so if you miss a few of those, it, it's not really a big deal. Um, and then the Matching and essays come all at the very end. So, and the, the essays, I think that there's three or four, um, I'm trying to think, I think there's three essays. Like, the essays would be answered, you could get full points, and like, and, and again, each, each, each essay says, says how, you know, how many essay uh, sentences you could probably answer, and um, it ranges between um, three and six usually. Um, those sentences should be, you know, full packed with whatever knowledge you have, and um, so since those come at the end, make sure I would, um, you know, since they're fully, um, you know, about forty points total, um, I would leave yourself a good, you know, um, twenty-five, um, maybe even thirty minutes or more to make sure you answer those essay questions. Um, and to be honest, um, if you study, you should be able to whip through <coughs> those um, the multiple choice questions pretty quickly. Um, if you think of it, there's if you even spend a whole minute. I mean, a minute is a long time to spend on some of these questions. Um, I think you <coughs> you either uh, would know, recall the answer. Um, or have a good guess um, or not, um, and that that's probably a good 
um, rule of thumb, a minute for each one. So that means for those pages that there's um, five questions per page, you really should only be spending about five minutes on each one of those pages, and um, at least the first few pages that are only multiple choice. I think there's like uh, five or six pages of multiple choice, and then you start moving into the pages that have um, uh, each like one or two matching, and then um, an essay. Um, Okay, um, yeah, and that's it. If you have any questions, um, let me know. Um, I'm okay with you um, studying together, um, but it would constitute cheating if you're sitting next to each other and sharing, deciding which question um, is the correct one when the actual exam happens, um, or consulting um, with the internet. And um, with some of these things, if you Google the question, um, then uh, the, the correct answer might be a little bit confused compared to, to the, what we had said in class or something like that. Um, so that's another reason. Um, obviously, the reason is cheat, not to cheat is to not get an honor code violation and to feel good not, about not cheating. But um, the other reason is because the answers come from specific readings and, um, and lectures. Uh, so if you have any questions, let me know. Um, again, just make sure a few minutes before 1030 on Thursday, you're in, in a quiet room with a good internet connection, logged into Moodle, um, and then right after or right at 1050, you can click on this um, link here. Okay, and start it up. Um, one thing, um, okay, and then when we come back, so um, after break on Tuesday, um, a week from today, uh, we will start with module three, okay? Um, so we definitely will have class that day. Um, if you want to, uh, so rubric two, um, the grading is done. And um, so you can come in here, um, you can click on, on this link and then click on your name. Um, I'm not sure it would be, <clears throat> excuse me, a different view for you. Um, uh, so when you click on it, it might instantly give you a grade, but it'll show you the rubric um, and uh, how you did in the different areas. So uh, just uh, this weekend, I went through and I did the last bit, um, which was the um, the reading slash um, tutorials. Um, it, it, all of you either got um, three points or two points for that. Um, three points if you had nice, you know, detailed descriptions of how you used. Uh, and what you felt of the different tutorials. Um, and then also there were a few <coughs> a few um, where for whatever reason, like maybe I, I missed um, for one of your other activities, like um, didn't answer it or you hadn't submitted something and then recently did. So I make sure I went through and um, and every every aspect of the grading for each person should be fully done and um, if something was missing then I put a, a note in there and said was what was missing and that you need to email it to me and the, um, when I had submit then the um, it should have sent you a message okay um, that you needed to do that um, okay so um, and again just remember that in the grade um, when you look at all your grades, like right now, um, like for all, like module three, module four, it might have a zero in there um, because um, it knows that those things need to be filled out, but right now they haven't been. So if you looked at your total grade for the course, it's probably terrible because it's averaging in a zero for module three even uh, because you haven't done it yet. Okay, So um, you know, at this point, you should be able to look at what you had for module one what your grade was and now for module two and then you'll have the midterm grade um, I will it will take me a while to, to grade those um, <coughs> excuse me um, those uh, uh, essay questions so then um, and then also um, just wait until the first day back um, on a week from today on Tuesday and then I'll tell you um, you know we'll go over the exam and we'll talk about if there's going to be a curve and things like that. So if, if you don't think, feel like you did well, then just wait till we come back in a week um, and we'll talk about the exam um, 
and we'll figure out if it's going to be good curve. All right, I hope everyone uh, does well in the exam. Make sure, um, you know, studying those readings for module one and two are the best way to do well. Um, and uh, then have a great break, and I'll see you a week from today. And uh, like I said, just email me. <coughs> oh, excuse me if you uh, if you have any questions. All right, take care, and good luck.